Thanks so much, Emily. Rob Sachovka, please come on up. The class of 1987. Rob played on two MAC championship teams. The team was 11 and 1 in his senior season and reached the quarterfinals in the NCAA playoffs. All MAC selection in junior and senior seasons. Broke the record for reception yards and still ranks eighth today on the all time receiving list. 1,518 receiving yards in a career with 14 touchdowns. Rob's two brothers played. Football at Susquehanna as well. Presently, Rob is a geologist and client manager with Cornerstone Environmental Group. Rob is a registered professional geologist in Pennsylvania, Wyoming, and Kentucky. Resides in Clark Summit, PA. Married for 24 years to SU alum Wendy Jacobs. They have three boys, Justin, Brandon, and Corey. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Sachovka. It's an honor to be here tonight and be uh, part of such a diversified group of athletes here. So I just want to congratulate everyone here tonight who's uh, into the class of 2013. You know, when I first got the call from Pamela and Coach Briggs that I was selected for this year's 2013 Hall of Fame, you know, you're, you're shocked, you're in disbelief, you're giddy and happy all at the same time. And the minute you hang up the phone, you get all these fond memories that start rushing in about your time that you spent here at Susquehanna University, how, how great times they were, and, uh, uh, and you, you're very appreciative of that. Um, and about 10 minutes after you hang up the phone, you realize, at least for me, it's been 26 years since I last played my ball here at Susquehanna University. Most likely, I'm going to be the oldest guy in the club. <laughs> <laughs> but then you get the names on the list, and you go down the list, and there's one that you recognize, Coach Harney. And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just want to say it's a privilege to be in the same class with you, but I just want to thank you for making me middle age in the photo op. <laughs> Your hair is getting there. <laughs> So it, it's very hard for me to be up here this evening to, to accept such an individual award, uh, individual accomplishment, when I played such a team-oriented sport. When I think about it over the, my four years of playing here, that I probably played with about 120 different teammates, and every one of them contributed something for me being up here this evening. Uh, to the three different quarterbacks who had thrown the ball to me, uh, to the Offensive lineman who hustled his butt down the field to make a downfield block to give me an extra 10, 20, 30 yards, or even a score. To the entire defensive unit who were getting the other team's offense off the field so we could be on the field uh, to make an opportunity happen. And I just want to thank all those guys, and, and I know they're not here this evening, but I want to accept this on their behalf as well. So I have a lot of people to thank here. I come from a big family, but I want to start off with the university, uh, President Lemons, uh, Pamela, Coach Briggs. Um, you know, Coach Briggs uh, uh, coached two of my younger brothers here, so I've gotten to know him throughout the years. Um, the entire Hall of Fame committee. I didn't really know who you guys were until this evening. I thought it was like a secret blacklist that maybe they kept in a vegan's vault with a double secret probation. Uh, to all you guys, I want to thank you uh, for being here tonight. So I want to start off, and I want to start off with my coaches. I see Coach Heinley came here to see me. I haven't seen him in, uh, uh, in many years. He, he coached me in my first two years here at Susquehanna. Um, you know, I had the opportunity of the last three head football coaches to coach here. I got to play for two of them, and I got to know the current coach, Coach Briggs, very well. As I said, he did coach my two younger brothers here. And they're all unique in their style of coaching. I don't want to get into how they're unique, but they're all unique in their style of coaching, but they're dedicated to the sport the love they love. They're dedicated to their teams, their players. And I have to believe that every parent, when they drop off their, uh, their son or daughter here at Susquehanna University, need to know that their child is going to end up better mentally, morally, and physically stronger than they started 
And that's just a true attribute to all the coaches that have coached here in the past and, and the present. And I just want to thank them all. So I'm going to go to my family now, and I have a pretty big family. So I want to start off um, with my mom and dad. My mom and dad. My mom is here this evening. Uh, my dad is at home. Um, he's uh, uh, has a hard time getting around. I know he wanted to be here with me. I know he's here in spirit with me, and we'll be home later tonight to tell him all about this. Um, but to mom and dad to give me the love, the courage, the support, the opportunity to go to school and play four more years of my career here. Um, how you got seven kids through college, I don't know that, so I'm trying to get three through college, but it's amazing. I want to say thank you. You know, we have a nickname for my dad and family. We call him the chief. And simply put, mom and dad had their own tribe. I'm one of seven kids in the family, five boys and two girls. And there was always something going on in that household. Good times, great memories. And all the kids were great students, but more or less they were good athletes. And I have to attribute a daily drill that mom and dad did every day, religiously. They did not miss this drill. And like any agility drill, this drill is about quickness. You had to be quick in this drill, right? It was about positioning yourself, boxing out the other defender so you can make a play, right? It's about getting your hands in the right position, swap the other defender's hands away so you can make a good play. And the name of that drill in our family every day is called dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, if you didn't eat quick in our family, you didn't eat. <laughs> so, to my older brothers and sisters, Tom, Jamie, Susan, and Barb, I want to thank you for being role models, for setting the bar, uh, for giving me words of encouragement, wisdom along the way, coaching, mentoring, it means a lot to me. You know, somebody done the phrase once a long time ago, not a long time ago, but in the 80s, I want to be like Mike, Michael Jordan, right? And I bet you that, that uh, executive who made up that phrase probably had older brothers and sisters when they thought about that. To my younger brothers, Paul, who's here tonight, and my younger brother, Billy, who's coaching a high school football game tonight, couldn't be here. Um, I want to thank you for knowing that your gaze upon me was the same gaze that I had upon my older brothers and sisters, and that I needed to lead by example, not to disappoint. And you were the driving force to make me a better player. And I just want to say thank you. So I just want to kind of finish up with one more thing. And, I was a wide receiver here, so I made a lot of receptions and made a lot of catches. So I'm going to tell you about the best catch of my life. And here are my boys, right? They're rolling their eyes in the back. You already got to listen to this again. We're going to hear about the light combing game, homecoming weekend miracle. We come from behind and we win the game in the last seconds with no stock time left on, where he's going to tell everybody about the David Tyree catch of the Super Bowl two years ago, how I invented it. I, I pinned the ball against my helmet and made that catch in Del Valley. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you boys, but I have one more story to tell you. And you haven't heard this, and you haven't heard this catch, and it kind of goes like this. Just like with every great catch, there has to be a toss, a quarterback, or, or somebody throwing you a ball. And, th and this toss that was made this, uh, this, this time was made by a young girl. Her name was Deirdre Von Kells, and she was the wife of our defensive captain of that year, David Kells, um, who led us to that 11-1 season. And Deirdre one night put a toss out there. She introduced me to a young girl in the campus library here and, uh, and in the cubicle. And her name is Wendy Jacobs Ochoa. And she is my wife of the last 24 years. And, hon, you are the best catch of my life. to our family is amazing, and I just want to say thank you, and I love you. To my three wise cracking boys who are rolling their eyes again. <laughs> you need to know that you have always been, and will always be, the next big play of myself and your mom's life. So as you travel down your paths, your careers, your goals, you need to know that we'll be there for you every step of the way, ready to come off the bench in a moment's notice if need be. So. I just want to thank you. I know I went over my three to four minutes, but I only get up here once. So, <laughs> again, thank you for everyone being here tonight. And uh, again, the 2013 Class Hall of Fame. It's a privilege to be part of such a diversified group. Thank you.